In our morning rounds, news in the fight against breast and ovarian cancers. Quest Diagnostics says it plans to offer a test for gene mutations. The move comes four months after the Supreme Court ruled a competing company, Myriad Genetics, could not patent a human gene. That test gained worldwide attention when actress Angelina Jolie decided to undergo a double mastectomy after she learned she carried faulty genes. CBS News contributor Dr. A Dave David Agus leads the Westside Cancer Center at the University of Southern California. Good morning. Good morning, Nora. So remind us first, what is this test? Uh, so it's a blood test that you do in a doctor's office with a genetic counselor, and it tells you your likelihood of breast and ovarian cancer. If you are positive, have a faulty copy of the gene, you have a greater than 80% chance of breast cancer and 40% of ovarian cancer. So it's a critical test for about 10% of people with breast cancer. And before, just one company was doing that, right? Yeah, I mean, they had a monopolistic practice, right? Mm -hmm. They were charging five, $6,000. They could set the price at whatever they want. And then four months ago, the Supreme Court democratized DNA. Everybody now has the ability to look at their own DNA. And this is the first of what will be many tests to do. It costs about $100 to do this DNA, DNA sequencing. The new test is $2,500, so the price is going to dramatically fall over the next year. Let me just understand who should do it, those people who... So that's a great question. Only people who have a significant family history of breast cancer or who are a male or who have breast cancer at a very young age. Those are the people who should have it. In other words, this is not for every woman. No, because if you do it out of context in everybody, we don't really know how to understand the information. But we do in people with a significant family history. You mentioned men. I mean, male men should do it as well. No question. I mean, men who have breast cancer, their family right. should. Right. Remember, if your mother has breast cancer, you have a 50% chance of inheriting this faulty gene if she has it, mm -hmm. whether you're man or woman. Let me ask you what this may mean for the other sorts of genetic tests. Yes, yeah, so I mean, all of a sudden, this is opening a whole new window. There's a genetic test, for example, in pediatric leukemia coming soon. There's some now for particular kinds of genetic colon cancer. Those are all more rare than the breast cancer gene, but a lot more are coming down the pike. This is going to be a new era in medicine. You know, with Angelina Jolie publicizing her double mastectomy, I think it got a lot of women scared about whether they should get this type of test as well. But she had a very distinct family history, her own mother, et cetera. And this is a very expensive test. In terms of the percentage of the population that likely have this gene, how small is it? Oh, it's a very, very small percentage. It's less than 10% of people with breast cancer. So in the general population is relatively rare, a couple of percent. But you need to know your family history. You need to ask your mother, your grandmother, and relatives, you know, what did grandma die of? And the key is really know that information to know if it's right for you. All right. Mm -hmm. Dr. David Agus, good to see you. Thank you, guys. I appreciate yeah. it. Thank you.